To demonstrate the best practice of consistently getting your cup on the flexion point every single time, it's important to understand what Dr. Aldo Vaca was talking about when he emphasized measuring the distance from the posterior fourchette to the flexion point. Now we all have a natural ruler on our hand or a measuring instrument, and that is if we know the distance from the middle finger, examining finger, to that interphalangeal joint, you'll see that it is between five and six centimeters, and to the metacarpal joint on the hand, that's between 10 and 11 centimeters. If we understand that, during our vaginal exam, we can determine the distance from the flexion point to the perineum or where the posterior fourchette comes in contact with your hand. Now that is to reference the marks that are found on the Kiwi Omni Cup. On every Kiwi Omni Cup, there are marks that are found on the stem at six and 11 centimeters. Those marks are to coincide with the marks that are naturally found on your hand. Step number one is to check position and station of this baby. In this instance, this baby is right occiput posterior at plus one station. Now I find the flexion point, three centimeters four to the posterior fontanelle, a long sagittal suture. I rest my hand on the perineum and I determine from the middle finger to that part of my hand is approximately eight centimeters. Step number two is to hold and insert the cup. So place one finger in the vagina or two, pulling downwards to create room, and then sliding the cup on its side as small as possible. Once it's flat against the fetal head, rotating it up flat, and then removing your hands. In step two, when placing the cup, the easiest way of keeping track of the groove is to place one's thumb on the top of the groove. When the cup is inserted into the vagina, the groove goes in at nine o'clock, and then as the elbow is rotated upwards, the groove is naturally placed at 12 o'clock. Step number three is to maneuver the cup to the predetermined distance, which in this baby was eight centimeters. So I insert two index fingers, the superior hand holding tissue up and out of the way, the inferior hand right up on top of the edge of the cup and pushing downwards. As I push down, you can see the stem shortening. I'm now at the six centimeter mark and I continue to push. There's seven centimeters and there's eight centimeters. I hold or stabilize the cup with my superior hand and I use my other hand to establish vacuum. Step number four is to establish vacuum and also exclude maternal tissue that may be trapped underneath the cup as vacuum is applied. Step number five is to place the thumb on the cup and the index finger on the baby's head to prevent that cup from coming off and providing counter traction during our pulling efforts. As mom begins to push, we will provide our traction in a downward angle in this baby who is right occiput posterior. As the baby gets further and further down in the pelvis, notice the direction of pull changes until I begin to finish here as the baby reaches the perineum and you can see where the cup was placed.